Hello, I'm Bernie Hayes. Today we have the former mayor of Berkeley, Missouri, and now running for the city of Blackjack, Missouri, Kenneth McClendon, today on the Bernie Hayes Show. Welcome back. I'm Bernie Hayes, and like I say, my guest is Kenneth McClendon. Kenneth, how are you doing? I'm great, Mr. Hayes. How are you okay, today? Fine. Former mayor of Berkeley and a council person in Berkeley, but now you're running for the city of Blackjack, the mayor of city of Blackjack. How does that happen? Well, uh, I just got involved in uh, going to council meetings mm -hmm. and uh, some of the things that was going on in the city, I just got involved and started going things because of the previous background that I have from the city of, uh, of Berkeley. I just got involved in what was going on and I'm really concerned about the residents and the city and the growth of the city to see where it's going. Okay. So uh, you actually moved from Berkeley to Blackjack? Yes, I did. Okay. I moved from the city of Berkeley to the city of Blackjack because of, at the time, when I moved over 15, year, 15 years ago, uh, the housing prices was awesome, so it was a, a great uh, investment. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about Kenneth McClendon. All right. Kenneth McClendon uh, started off as a, a little boy in church. I, my background is church. Um, that's all I've known. My mom and dad brought me up in church. I was brought up in uh, First Baptist Church of Kenlock, uh, where I was there. The, uh, uh, they, uh, they had me doing everything. I was the uh, deacon. I was the uh, trustee. No, I wasn't a trustee. I was a deacon. I was a Sunday school teacher. I was a, a Baptist training union leader. Uh, and then from there I went on and I uh, got married and I married the late Arlene uh, B. McClendon. Um, and from there we had two daughters, uh, Dr. Carter, Dr. Ingrid Carter and uh, Iris McClendon, uh, my two daughters. And from there we had, uh, me and my wife were married for 50 years. And, uh, oh God, I miss her. But, 50 years, yeah. and uh, we had great things going on. Uh, I was in the military. I did 22 years in the uh, Navy. Uh, I retired from the Navy after 22 years of service. I also uh, worked at Bo I mean at uh, <clears throat> General Motors, and I did uh, 32 years at General Motors, retired from General Motors, and then now, uh, I just got involved and I started doing things. I was a paralegal. I'm a trained paralegal, and I did that in um, paralegal. Also, I was um, involved. I just been involved in things. I've yeah. always been involved in school board, attending school board meetings, yeah. uh, fire district meetings, and different things because I figured that people need to be informed. And if you don't attend and go to meetings and find out what's going on, you'll never know what's happening in life. What about and, radio station KSTL? Tell us about that. Okay, radio <laughs> station KSTL. That was, you know, me and the wife, I guess it's about <laughs> five, six years ago. Yeah. Me and the wife were uh, in the car listening to the station, and uh, I was talking, and my wife's, uh, some uh, advertisement came on about a board operator. And my wife said, why don't you call out there and see, ask uh, Sister Galloway about the board operator job. And so I did. I called out there. I said, well, she said, I said, uh, this is Elton. She said, Elton McClendon? I said, yeah. So she said, uh, oh, uh, I said, you are advertising about a board operator. She said, yes, I am. And so she told me, she said, well, she said, Elder McClendon, she called my name again. You know, she said, Elder McClendon. I said, well, look, Sister Galloway, you have my number. If you need me, call me. <laughs> About five or six months later, she called. And, and I've been were. there ever since uh, from five or six. It's been a blessing to do that, to learn radio. That was something new in my era and my life, you know, because I've never done radio. And that was really exciting, and it's really great. I really enjoyed the public. So, right. I, you know, that's, that's me. And that, that radio is really definitely public. 
You know, so I love it. I'm very familiar with radio. Yes, <laughs> yes, you are. Tell me uh, what church do you belong to now? I belong to Chronicles Christian Center Church. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been there over 24 years. Now, the reason why I've been there over 24 years is because my wife and myself are founders and pastors of the Chronicles Christian Center Church. Mm -hmm. And we're located at two Lens Meadows in Florissant, Missouri. That's actually people know it as Washington. Yeah. We're right there next door to the, we, we purchased the old trophy shop next to the bowling alley. We're right there. And we have service on Saturday mornings. Okay. Every Saturday morning. All right. Now, um, what visions do you have for the city? of Blackjack, Missouri, once you become mayor? My, my main goal and my vision for the city of Blackjack is communications. I feel that we have no communications in the city of uh, Blackjack. We only receive different information. We really don't receive any information in regards to what's going on in legislative and different things. And I think that's my, my main goal. My other goal is to bring more businesses into uh, the city of Blackjack, because we need to increase our tax basis a whole lot because we're uh, just uh, a small community. Well, we're actually not that small, but we have uh, land that's been undeveloped or not developed that needs to be developed. And we need to bring some businesses into our city to increase our tax basis so we can do things with streets, roads, and uh, city services that we're lacking. So I, there are some things that we need to, to adjust and things that we need to do that would be more beneficial to the city of Blackjack. And my most important thing is think outside the box. Right. We okay. need to think outside the box about what can be done in the city of Blackjack because I have a great host of ideas that needs to be done. Because Ken it's Kenneth McClendon, uh, mayor for the city of Blackjack, Missouri. Kenneth, what uh, part? the approximate boundaries of the city? Okay, the boundaries run anywhere from Jamestown Mall, on, that's on, the <clears throat> on that side, we go all the way up to Jamestown Mall. Right, north side. Yeah. On the north side. Mm -hmm. On the uh, east side, we go all the way to uh, Redmond Road, right there at Parker and Redmond. Uh, right. No, I'm sorry. That's, tr that's not, that's... We don't go as far as Redmond Road. We go probably roughly about, uh, we're right there at Trinity Mount Carmel and Mail right. and uh, Parker Road. We right start there. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And then we go all the way down to, uh, on, Parker, on Parker Road side, we go all the way down to the uh, First Baptist Church of Kenlock. We go right there. That's all blackjack. Right. So there's, there's a lot of boundary there that could be developed and a lot of vacant land and van that could be developed into very good business sources. Yeah, I know All Horse Fair is one of your main streets. Yes, sir. Black Jack, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know that the, uh, the city of Black Jack is very, very well known. Uh, how's the housing situation there now? Well, the, the situation there is that we have a uh, mayor council form of government and uh, the mayor runs the day-to-day -day operations of the city. And that's that's my leadership abilities mm -hmm. would be excellent because by being in the military, then also being in the, uh, I was a union rep with the uh, UAW local, uh, 22, uh, local 2250, that uh, I was a union rep there. With my leadership ability and my ability to learn and to listen to individuals, I think that I'd be a great access, and I think that's the main thing that we need right now in the city of Blackjack. Yeah. We need somebody that can I know the city of Blackjack at one time drew, drew some uh, attention and no, no, notoriety because of a couple who uh, had some problems and the city didn't want them living together. Will you change all that? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that, that needs to be changed uh, because it's time out for days and time that people cannot marry who they want to and live with who they want to. And as long as you have adequate income and everything, it doesn't have anything to do with bringing the, uh, the city down mm -hmm. or anything like that. Because you have ordinance and everything to govern how things are run and how things are performed. So right. I think those things need to be changed and addressed. Kenneth W. McClendon is the candidate for the city of Blackjack, Missouri. He's running for mayor of the city of Blackjack. 
Can, can, briefly, can you give us a phone number and an email? Yes, my phone number is 314-960-9232. And your email? And my email address is I-R-I-S-I-N-G-R-I-D-A-R-L-E-N-E at AOL. Dot com. That email address is so simple. It's Iris Ingrid Arlene at AOL.com. That's wonderful. We'll be right back with uh, Kenneth McClendon after this. Will you help New Life Evangelistic Center get back into 1411 Locust Street? Your tax deductible gifts are urgently needed at this particular time. And there's many different ways that we're working to get back in that facility. One of the ways is to continue to inform the community through the Bernie Hayes Show and other programs. And if you haven't supported the Bernie Hayes Show and the work of New Life Evangelistic Center, please do it now. It's urgently needed. Your gifts are deeply appreciated. So many homeless people are waiting to get back into 1411 Locust, and so many others need the direct help that New Life is trying to provide at this time, but is facing some real financial needs. And that's why your gift is very, very important. And to express our thankfulness for all of you that are sharing your gifts, we want to send you this special Bernie Hayes cup. It's my wife's favorite drinking cup. She loves to drink out of this cup, and this is actually the only coffee cup she wants to use is the Bernie Hayes cup. It's something very special about this cup, and we'll send it to each one of you that share a gift of $25 or more with the New Life Evangelistic Center and ask for your Bernie Hayes cup. It's P.O. Box 473, St. Louis, Missouri, that's 63166. Your gift will not only help us get back into the 1411 Locust Building, but will help our first responders that are on the streets, the first responders that we have out there day after day, night after night. It will help keep our uh, women and children in our safe houses, continue to keep our training programs open, our worldwide mission work, whether it's in India, Haiti, Africa, so many different things the New Life Evangelistic Center is doing. In addition to NLEC TV, Tell your family and friends about it. Put it on your phone. Put on your, uh, get that phone app on all your friends' phones so they can all see the Bernie Hayes Show or go to 24.2. It's your prayers and gifts that make all of this possible. I thank God for those of you who continue to pray for the reopening of 1411 Locust and the work of New Life Evangelistic Center. There's so many obstacles we're facing as we try to help the homeless, but we're going to continue to give it to God. We're going to continue to pray. We're going to continue to work, but we need you to partner with us. So again, it's New Life Evangelistic Center, P.O. Box 473, St. Louis, Missouri, the 63166. I thank God for each one of you that are praying, caring, and sharing. Welcome back. My guest is Clint McKinnon. McKinnon, he's uh, running for the mayor of the city of Blackjack, Missouri. Uh, Kenneth, you've been there for a few years now, so how have you seen Blackjack change? Well, I've seen it change from uh, being more proactive to being non-active now. Mm -hmm. And the issue that I have is that we need to be more active. And when I say more active, I think that they need to be more informed of what the residents, uh, informing the residents of what's going on, because I think it lacks that. When you come to a council meeting, it's only myself and the other person. That's not a, a good representation of the city of Blackjack. I want to bring more people involved, get more people involved. And most of all, not only that, my main goal is to get the young people, the young couple, Couples that are there in the city of Black Jap involved in what's going on. Okay. We have a lot of opportunities that can be done in the city of Black Jack. We have excellent facilities that can be utilized that are not being utilized at this time. When is the election? The election is going to be the 4th of April. April and, 4th. Yeah, April the 4th. And we have two polling places. We have one at City Hall, and the other one is at Jury School on Halls Ferry. Uh, and the polls open at 7 o'clock, I mean at 6 o'clock in the morning, a.m., and closes at 7 p.m. on that evening. Okay. Is it too late to register to vote? No, it's not too late to register to vote. You have until March, until the uh, March 8th mm -hmm. of 2023 to still register and vote because a lot of times people are not registered to vote. And we have uh, two uh, apartment complexes in the city of Burke, I mean, city of uh, Blackjack. And uh, those people, I don't know if they're registered or not, but they uh, have an opportunity to register. And then also, uh, you know, we need to be involved. Okay. Jury School is also on Old Hall's Ferry, is it not? I'm sorry. Jury School on Old Hall's Ferry. Yes, it is. It's mm -hmm. Jury School is right on Old Hall's Ferry. 
And the other voting place you said? And the other voting place is Blackjack City Hall. Now, where is Blackjack City Hall? Blackjack City Hall is right there at Old Jamestown Road. When you uh, off of, off of Old Halls Ferry, you make a left turn, and you'll see a sign say uh, Blackjack City Hall, and you make that left turn, and we're right there on the right-hand side. I mean, it, it's so, you know, Parker Road and Old Jamestown Road and Old Halls Ferry Road, and, you know, they, they, they kind of mix up there. So. Yes, they do. They do. <laughs> so, because it's a, like a fork in the road, and they come there, and yeah. then they go different ways. Correct. Yeah, Parker Road. You, you, you may stay on Parker Road and, and miss Old Tapes and Old Halls Ferry Road. That's true. But, uh, that is so true. But so if you make a right turn there, not Parker, don't, don't turn off Parker. You go down to City Hall? Yes, sir. Okay. That's, that's good. Uh, how uh, Do you know about approximately the... the, the Population of Blackjack now? The population of Blackjack is probably right at, uh, I would say, about 8,000. Mm -hmm. About 8,000 is the population of Blackjack. Okay. And is the tax structure pretty well? Can you keep, keep, keep the schools going? And Yeah, it, it keeps Hazelwood School District afloat. Mm -hmm. uh, it keeps the fire district. Yes, and it also keeps the city of Blackjack going. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to take on this responsibility? Well, the responsibility is sometimes, you know, you can get to a point in life or in time that it's time to take the hem and do something different and have some new outlook on what's going on. Mm -hmm. Someone that's going to think outside the box and bring businesses and opportunities into the city of Blackjack. At this time right now, uh, it's not going on. Okay. And I think that we need to have that opportunity. And I think I am the individual that can really do that, bring the people together, bring the residents together, and also bring new businesses into the area that which is undeveloped or needs to be developed. I have two questions for you. First of all, how will your military service help you run the city of Blackjack, Missouri, and also the time that you spent in the auto industry help you run the city of Blackjack? Well, the, the uh, my military background will help me w uh, run the city of Blackjack because of the leadership ability that I have. Mm -hmm. I had uh, uh, people that were underneath me, and I was their leader. I had to show them different things of how to do and what to do and, and when to do it at that time. And I think that with my ability to learn and my ability to listen and to witness and being able to do things to people, help people to get to the next level. At General Motors, I was a union rep where I represented uh, uh, different departments at the, uh, at the plant in Winsfield. I was the, uh, I had to represent the people if they had issues or they had issues with the company or the union contract. I was able to do that and negotiate uh, settlements and different things that would be beneficial to the person that I was representing in my departments. You know, because I think a lot of times, one thing that we have to learn is leadership ability. And I keep stressing that you have to have ability to lead individuals. And not only lead, sometimes you just have to sit back and just listen to what they're saying. Because a lot of times you have, you have an opportunity to listen to what people are saying and you gain a lot of information. But then you also take that leadership ability where you have the opportunity to lead an individual to higher heights and deeper debts. I understand that Judy Ferguson Shaw and her organization is supporting you, is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, Great A for Change, we've been together for quite a few years that we've been doing things and uh, politically for uh, Ferguson Florissant School District. We have uh, been very successful with uh, having candidates come in and uh, campaigning for candidates, for the candidates. And we've been very successful going door to door, knocking on doors and everything, trying to get the people out. And we've been very, very successful in grade A for change under the leadership of uh, Judy Ferguson Shaw. And the tax base in the city of Blackjack is supporting the local educated the school, schools and local education. Yes. Is that right? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the school district in uh, that represents Blackjack is Hazelwood School District. Sure. Dr. Collins is doing an awesome job as superintendent of the school district, and uh, she brings different programs and different things that would be beneficial to the to to our residents because education is very important right now because especially the graduates from 
preschool all the way up to high school that we can be doing uh, things. So actually, the tax base for the highs for the uh, schools are great. Mm -hmm. Any new ideas you want to implement? As, as you become an mayor? Yes, the main thing that I really want to in, implement in the city of Blackjack is a uh, economic development mm -hmm. committee. We need an economic development committee that would be beneficial because economic development, that means that you're getting business in, they know the, the how and the when and where to, uh, to get in touch with individuals in the business field to bring business into the city of Berkeley. I mean, to the city of Blackjack, excuse sure. me, <laughs> uh, into the city of Blackjack. Because, and I think that's very, very important. We don't have anything to do with economic, I mean, we don't have any person now that's doing economic development. And then we have to think outside the box. It is time consuming, but we have to do that because if we do not have economic development, your city is just stagnated. Understand. You don't have anything going on, and there's no beneficial and no tax base coming in. Okay. Kenneth McClendon, the candidate for mayor of the city of Blackjack, is my guest. And we've at the New Life Evangelistic Center, 24, 28, Woodson Road in Blackjack, in St. Louis, Missouri, in Overland, Missouri, actually. I got Blackjack on my mind. We went <laughs> Overland. But uh, Reverend Larry Rice, for more than 51 years, I've been providing services for those in need. And I sincerely hope that you'll continue to support the New Life Evangelistic Center. Back with Kenneth McClendon after this. So many people are being left on the streets homeless all day long without anywhere to go because downtown St. Louis continues to fight efforts to reopen 1411 Locust. Yes, the downtown neighborhood organization that has continued to fight the New Life Evangelistic Center for the reopening of 1411 Locust and lobbied the Slay administration, the Crudison administration to keep it closed and close it down must be strongly resisted at this particular time. We have a new mayor. I believe she cares about the homeless. Tashara Jones needs our support. If you'll join me in prayer over this, if you'll join me in resisting these special interest groups, if you want to believe the time for action is now, please contact me. I'm Larry Rice at P.O. Box 473, St. Louis, Missouri, at 63166. You can call me at 314-421-3020. I thank God for faithful viewers of Bernie Hayes, and now the time for action has come. Today we're talking about Duke Ellington, a major figure in the history of jazz music, a career that spanned more than half a century, during which time he composed thousands of songs for stage, screen, and contemporary songbooks. Born on May, April 29, 1899, Ellington was raised by two talented musical parents in a middle-class neighborhood in Washington, D.C. At the age of seven, he began studying piano and earned the nickname Duke for his gentlemanly ways. In the 1920s, Ellington performed in Broadway nightclubs as the band leader of a sextet, a group which he grew to a 10-piece ensemble later. Some of his most popular songs included It Don't Mean a Thing If It Don't Get Like That Swing, Sophisticated Lady, Prelude to a Kiss, Solitude, and Satin Doll. A number of his hits were sung by the impressive Ivy Anderson, a favorite female vocalist in the Ellington band. At the age of 19, Ellington married Edna Thompson, who had then been his girlfriend since high school, and soon after their marriage, they gave birth to the only child, Mercer Ellington. Duke Ellington. God's power is at work today. The purpose of God's power is to transform us into sons and daughters of God, daughters and of light that walk around and point back to Christ. When Jesus displayed the ultimate power over sin and death, he invited us into a deep relationship with God. That's the gospel message. You can be the change in the world around you today by loving others well. Accept the power of God in your life. Accept the miracles that he is giving you. Accept the abundance, the trials, the hardships, all of it, and use it to fuel the good works that God has set before you. God's power is at work today. You have the power to be the light in the darkness around you. Accept it. Give God the glory for it. Change. Kenneth McClendon, mayor of the city of Blackjack. We hope that be your title there very soon. All right, when do you say the election is? The election is going to be the 4th of April, mm -hmm. 2023. And, uh, and when is it? Like, 
How can you register to vote? In this you can register to vote through St. Louis County. Uh, you can go to the election board, or you can contact me personally, mm -hmm. and I can make sure that you get the information to register, and I will get you registered to vote. Okay. There's a lot of talk about reconstructing and revitalizing Jamestown Mall. The city council, I mean the St. Louis County Council, is uh, have that on their plate right now. There's a lot of discussion about it. Will you be involved in that? Will they consult you uh, about that re renovation of Jamestown Mall, do you think? Yes, I think with the, uh, uh, the uh, our representative uh, Webb, mm -hmm. Councilwoman Webb, I'm definitely going to get involved in that. But I, actually, I'm involved already because I attend council meetings in St. Louis County to go know what's going on with the uh, Jamestown Mall. Not only Jamestown Mall, but also the... Uh, the new park that's going on over there uh, where Forest Park is expanding. I get involved in a lot of things because I think it's necessary that to be an effective leader, you've got to get involved and know what's going on. If you don't know what's going on, when people, when the residents call you and say, well, uh, Mayor McClendon, what's going on? You know, what is this? What's happening there? You have got to have some kind of knowledge of what's going on. And right now, we don't have an elected official that really can actually get involved and tell you really what's going on, even in the schools. So therefore, Jamestown Mall is vital and very important to us. My goal was at the time when we were having meetings at Jamestown Mall in regards to Jamestown Mall, is uh, we had an outside firm come in and uh, they asked uh, us about annexation. Mm -hmm. And the council just, the mayor and the council just sit there and I got up and I asked the question. I said, uh, mayor and council, I said, did you understand what the young man was saying? I said, he said annexation. You know, if you annex something, then you have more ability to do and control what's going on. And I think Blackjack has the opportunity to annex a lot of land that's going on and that's surrounding them that yeah. can be beneficial not only to the city of Blackjack, but to the residents that we're annexing too. Mm -hmm. I think that because of the city services and the different things that's going on, I would love to start an annexation committee to annex not only Jamestown Mall, but surrounding areas in that area so we can be, then you don't have to worry about, uh, uh, if, if you annex something, it gets to be more personal. Sure. Well, Shonda Webb is the council, city, uh, city council, St. Louis County, County Council. She's heading, the, she's the chair of the St. Louis County Council now. So will you be telling her all these ideas that you have involving Jamestown Mall, as you see here? Yes, I will be. I will definitely be involved with uh, Councilman one Webb in regards mm -hmm. to uh, having conversation with her and telling her what's going. That some of my views and what can what can I do to help her enhance what needs to be done because I think it's vital and very important that we do these type of things. See, you got to get involved. Yeah, she replaced uh, rid of days. Correct. Uh, so now she's a the council chairperson. So once again, tell the people why they should vote for you, and where they can vote for you, and when they can vote for you. Well, I think the biggest thing here is that the reason why you can vote for me because of my leadership abilities, my abilities to listen, and to be a wide person that is thinking outside of the box. Mm -hmm. The most important thing that we need to do is, uh, and then my Christian ability, I'm, you know, uh, my religious beliefs has a lot to do with things that I'm not going to do, things that I'm not going to accept. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's the main point that I have that why you should elect me. But I, not only that, I'm personable. Okay. You can reach me. I'll be visible. you be seeing me at all times. It's not like that you just see me doing an election. You will see me on a regular basis. The election is April 4th, and I know that the residents of Blackjack will be happy and pleased. Go to the polls, vote for Kenneth W. McClendon. He's first on the ballot. Put an X in that box. And then not only that, the absentee ballots, when they come out, okay. put an X in that box. We're because those of, boxes and those ballots will be coming out. We're out of time, different. Uh, I just want to say thank you, Clint, Kenneth W. McClendon, for visiting with us today. And uh, good luck on you run for mayor. And tell Judy Ferguson, Sean, and the rest of the people I said hello. All righty, I will do that. Thank you so much. And All thanks right. each and every one for you for supporting the New Life Advanced Physics Center. I'm Bernie Hayes. Have a great day. See you next time.
Thank you. Thank you.